Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Malice. I'm here on YouTube. Normally I'm on Twitch. So this is kind of weird. This is new for me. Doing this YouTube thing. But um, I wanted to make a video about Twitch Studio Beta. Um, and just kind of talk about it a little bit, what I think about it, and how to work with it with Stream Elements. So if you're using Twitch Studio and just kind of get into streaming, you kind of want to get a little bit of a push, push forward. You want to do something different, you want to do something new, you want to add your own overlays. Um, you've kind of looked into Stream Elements, you know. Uh, this video is assuming that you already know, you know, how to use Stream Elements or that you have an idea of how you want to get that set up. Um, this is, by the way, the second time I've recorded this because the first time OBS decided to record into an MKV format, which doesn't work for me because it doesn't work in Premiere, so I couldn't edit it. Fun. Um, so anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up. I'm gonna we're gonna pull up, you know, the BenQ right now. Um, so I'm gonna move my camera up here, and we're gonna pop over the BenQ. Boom, right there. I'm gonna make myself nice and small. Put myself kind of like in the middle here. Well, not like super small, but you know. Big enough, you can still see me. I'm in the middle. So basically what you're seeing around me right now is the overlay and now everything I got set up in Twitch Studio, right? Um, and it's pretty easy. All this is running through stream elements, you can tell. So if we go over here, we can click on, we see right here, we got start stream. We got edit layout. We're gonna be clicking on that. We're gonna click edit layout, boom. And we can see our layout, our overlay is literally one, two, three, four, four parts. Okay, super cool. Uh, you can see how the audio is working. So audio was a big problem for me with this program when it first came out because it only kind of lets you use kind of like your system audio and your mic and that was it. And now you can add new audio sources so you can tell that I've got my desktop, my music, and my VOIP. I've got that all separated through voice meter potato. Um, I might do a tutorial on that maybe. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that have already done that kind of tutorial. So you could probably figure out how to run that through other people. Um, but if you wanted me to do it, let me know, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's there. So you can mute the stream, you can listen. So you click listen, you can listen to yourself. We're not gonna do that right now because that's uncomfortable. Um, cancel and save. We've got our layout here, our layout name. Okay, so what we're gonna call it. And then each individual piece that we're gonna go through. But what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna click cancel. We're gonna create a new layout. We're gonna click on this. You'd think I've done this three times, but I haven't, I promise. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna go edit layout. So we here have here, we have our new layout. Um, there is nothing here, obviously. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to pull in our overlay from stream elements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up stream elements. I'm getting to it right now. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys here. So if we look, so this is my main scene right here. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go copy URL, right there, boom, bring this out. And right here we're gonna go click on this little plus button which is like right over there in the corner. Press the button, boom. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is we are gonna go all the way down to embedded web page. Boom, we're gonna click that. We're going to go down here. We are going to go to custom page resolution. And we're gonna go 1920 by 1080, which is the size that I have it set up through Stream Elements. We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go here. The link that you copied, you're gonna paste that right there. Click this little purple button right there. Boom. Let it load. Boom. There it is. So when you do the custom resolution, it doesn't do any clipping. So if you don't do custom resolution, you're gonna notice like you might load it in and you might not see anything. And that's because it's clipping everything, right? So everything's clipped down and you're gonna have to resize and you might get, you might freak out and be like, oh my God. But do it like this. It'll maintain the size and you just kind of stretch it out to the edges and boom, there you go. There's your overlay, okay? The main overlay. So if you notice the way I make my overlays is I like to do everything in one. So all of these are extras from Stream Elements so I don't have to add a bunch of different stuff. Just one link, one element, boom, done. We're happy, we're good to go. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this, is I'm going to go overlay. That's what that is. And I'm going to lock that layer, so now that layer can't move. We don't want to move that anymore. We're going to do the same thing for our alerts. So what I do is I go over here, I copy the URL. I will go over here, click that little button that's up in the corner there again. And we're going to go over here and embed another web page. We're going to go down here, custom resolution. We're going to also keep that in 1920. 
1920, not 10, wow, okay, 1920 by 1080. Do, 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 do. Okay, boom, and we're going to go into here, we're going to drop that link into here, and we're going to go, boom, click forward. And now what we got is we have our over, we have our alerts. So we're going to go in here, we're going to go boo, just like this. And now just to make sure that, you know, it is the alerts and everything works, we're going to go into the edit section here onto the Twitch alerts and, or the stream elements alerts. So we're going to go to emulate and we're going to go to follower event. And we're going to click that and there it is. There's, there's the alert right there. Worked perfectly. Worked like a dream. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do off of that. Wow. Well, okay. I don't know why it keeps going like that, but Hey, you know, now we know for sure that it works. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is we want to add our camera, right? Cause what you're seeing is through OBS, not through this. We're going to go into here. We're going to go click that little button up at the corner again, boop, like that. And we're going to go into here and we're going to go webcam and then boom, there's my pretty little face. And literally, so with this one, this is actually, it's pretty easy to do. Like you just kind of want to like, it just resizes, like it doesn't clip. So you just want to kind of go like this, bring it into there, bring this all the way to the bottom. Cause you want it under your overlay. And then like, you're going to lock this one right here as well. And the only one that's going to be at, like for you to be able to edit is the bottom one. Just kind of line that up, get that in there, looking all nice and stuff like that. Perfect. Now, me personally, I'm not I'm not a big fan of how like Twitch Studio does the uh, camera editing. Like you can tell the difference between how I look right here and then how I look down there. And so what we do here is so we have down here, we have border, chroma key and color filter. So you can use cube files dot cube, which are like LUTs, LUTs, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, to give you an example, we go down to custom right here, color, whatever, browse, and then you'll get little files that look like this. And then you can choose things like, for example, like, I don't know, this one, boom. And you go into here and then you kind of, it changes how the kind of the coloration looks and things like that. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't know how to do that, you can go into here, you can click on this. And I personally like either cold or I think it was Pro 2, but I prefer cold. Cold is nice. I like how cold looks. So we'll roll with that. It kind of follows like the whole theme and things like that that I'm kind of going for. Um, so go with cold. Now you need to, where do, you're going to be gaming. You're going to be doing something, right? So we need to add in the next part. I'm going to click plus. We're going to scroll down and we are going to go to main screen share like that, boom, and it automatically ch shares, like so you can edit this and change this and move this around and what have you. Uh, I'm gonna call this LG because that's the screen that you're looking at here, right? So this right here, you kinda wanna bring this up. Right? You can resize this however you see fit. So I'm just gonna kinda bring this down so it just kind of fits in a little bit better. Right, you can see here, it's kinda nudge that up a little bit. Bring this down underneath here. Right now we can lock the webcam and we can sit and we can play with this. So we don't want those edges like that. So we're gonna bring that down until the edges meet. And then boom, now you can see the whole screen over here. So if I bring anything, if I had to bring anything into here, like if I were to open this up or if I had to open up Minecraft, for example, like you can see now, like, you know, for example, like, you know, the whole thing is, you know, working. Like you can see Minecraft going. Uh, all that, uh, which is really cool. Um, we're actually gonna exit out of that. So it just captures kind of like whatever's there, which is good, which is good. It works like if I were to open up Photoshop, that works too, right there. If I were to minimize Photoshop. So you could just kind of do that at works. And that's literally it. That is literally it. Like that is everything. Now let's do this uh, finished overlay. Just give it that name so that way you know that this is the finished one. Um, now, when this thing first came out, it was a bummer because, like, the only thing you could do is stuff like this. Like, this is, like, all I could do. Like, I don't know why my camera just died, but um, I'm still here. Like, my camera just shit the bed. Um, but this is, like, all you could do. And now you got stuff like this, which is super cool. Super, super cool. 
um, like you could only do like you could only create like your own elements and stuff like that. And then now you can finally kind of like do this, right? So it's good. Like so if here, if you see start stream, you can also record a video just like you do in OBS. Um, you've got your settings here, right? Um, so settings are good. Your stream settings, right? How things are good. changing these options can significantly affect your stream performance. Um, so I generally do very fast, zero latency. That's it. Uh, 5,000 bit rate because I'm doing 720. Really no need for anything else. Recording where, where things are going to go when they're done. Audio where your audio is coming in. Um, hotkeys if you want to use hotkeys. The Stream Deck now also accepts. It has, a, has settings for Twitch Studio, which is really cool. So, like, if you have a Stream Deck, Stream Deck Mini, normal Stream Deck, Stream Deck XL, you can set up the same commands on your Stream Deck that you do with OBS. So, you guys aren't getting left behind in that part of things. Um, and this is pretty much it, right? Um, you know, it, it just looks great. You click up here at the top, changes all your stuff. Really easy, really nice. It's a no-nonsense kind of look to it, which is really, really cool. I really dig that and there you go you just hit that and boom there you go you've got custom overlays put into with custom alerts put into twitch studio and you should be able should work just fine guys it should work just like obs does um i'm probably gonna end up doing a couple of streams with this just to kind of test it out test out the audio things like that because there are certain filters that i have on obs that i don't have running on here so if we go into here we go to mic and we go to edit like there's certain things that i have active in obs that you can't put in here like vsts things like that but i'm sure that we could kind of fiddle with the audio and kind of get that going so i might do a stream just to kind of see how everything sounds because audio is kind of really important um but as far as that's concerned guys that's going to be it that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you really really liked it well like comment subscribe you know do all that happy horse shit um you know, and if you want to catch me live, you want to see me doing some artwork, you want to ask me about some artwork, go catch me over on twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Malice. That is M-I-I-S-T-E-R, Malice. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one.